Great news, everybody. I was able to tweak my auto blogging prompt to where I'm able to get a nicely formatted article. If you haven't seen that video where I show how to set up an automated AI blogger for Medium, be sure to check that out. I've got a link down in the description. What I did was add a little bit more instruction to the create a completion module where we were creating the entire blog post. And I'm going to bring up a bigger version and I've also got it down in the description for easy copy paste action. What I said was add returns using HTML and then I literally spelled out break break every few sentences to break up the blog into paragraphs. If you come up with any numbered lists, you should appropriately space them apart using HTML break and indent them properly. Let's take a look at the results that came about. This is the blog that it made, and this is without me editing anything. Now, I haven't published this yet because I still want to go in and make sure this is saying something that I want to say, since this is actually my main automated lifestyle blog. And yeah, it's, it's basically saying what I'm doing right now with Medium, which is attempting to monetize a blog. So maybe this one will fly. And then I also tested this on Blogger, which I'm about to make another video. And as you can see, it worked for Blogger too. Perfect. So this is really interesting because I tried doing something like this before I even made my first auto blogger video, but I couldn't get the output to come out right. And I think the only difference is that I really drove the point home and I repeated myself. I've noticed sometimes when you're doing negative prompting or things like that, sometimes you have to really drive the point home for the AI to actually pick it up. I'm not sure if that's what happened here, but maybe. Have you experienced stuff like this when you're adding your prompt? You tell it to do something, it seems to ignore you, but then if you say it more than once or in different ways, it seems to work? Let me know. Chime in in the comments. I'd be interested to know what your results are. And if you expand upon this, of course, that would be awesome too. Let me know what you come up with. Here are two other very important considerations for crafting your prompts. I've mentioned it in my previous video, but I'm going to reiterate it here. The first is tone. How do you want your blog to come across? Do you want it witty, authoritative, witty and authoritative maybe, satirical, educational, tabloid editorial? How about product manual? If you can see where I'm going with this, you can really use your imagination, but how you describe it in telling it to adopt a certain tone is what you can expect for it to try to imitate when producing your article. Second would be, how long do you want it to be? If you don't specify a certain length, sometimes it'll only crank out a couple sentences, other times it'll crank out a couple pages. How long do you really want it to be? If you specify, you'll help control the length and word count. Other things to consider that are very important, and this is part of my general prompting for anything, print on demand, you name it, make sure to tell the AI not to use ampersands and specify afterwards for it to use and instead. This prevents headaches and future support cases from using and, which will screw up the API passing from system to system. Stay tuned, I'll be releasing another video this evening where I'm going to cover how to set up the same AI automated blog for Blogger. And then shortly after that, I'll be making videos about AI automated blogging for WordPress, Tumblr, and forget what was the other one? Shopify. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. See you in a little while.